please watch the complete video to thoroughly understand the difference and otherwise you could be misunderstood or misled by anyone. It's the most confused question, which one is better, either plagiarism checker Grammarly or Turnitin? Short answer is no one is better until you don't know why you need it. It totally depends upon your aim and your profession. Like for example, Grammarly is best for journalists, online blog writers or anything like that. But for school students, research publishers, there is no match for Turnitin. There are too many tools in the market for plagiarism and no matter what they promise you, you stay away from them until they are recommended from your institution. Here is the difference between the Grammarly and Turnitin. Grammarly is more of the grammar checker and check all the mistakes including plagiarism on its own. Turnitin is more of the assignment management system, additionally provides plagiarism and grammatical mistake checker extensions. Now, if you use Turnitin, you may be familiar with its tire system, like instructor can give assignments to all the class and students can submit online through their student's account. Instructors can also set conditions like final submission time, like plagiarism limit and many others and Turnitin save these all assignments into their database optional to the instructor. Turnitin is a widely used assignment management system in North America's high schools and that's why its database is too large. They also search through Google indexed forecasts, research publications and other databases. But in Grammarly there is nothing like that. Whatever you are writing you can check at your own including grammatical mistakes and most important is that Grammarly now saves your manuscript into their database. But they are using ProQuest database which is also huge and Google index database. They don't have their own database and it's important to note that if you are a researcher then most of the research paper publication uses the ProQuest database to check the similarity or plagiarism. So Turnitin's database is much larger than that of Grammarly and now it's easy to guess which one is right for you. And if you are a student who want to check plagiarism in your school assignment and additionally your school is using Turnitin, then you should definitely use Turnitin. And if you are a researcher, then you can use any if you have access to, but prefer Grammarly because it's fast and reliable research publication database. Also, Grammarly is cheap and easily available and for the blogger and the other writer community I will suggest only Grammarly because of its easy to use tools for bloggers and sometimes turn it in not access the recently indexed Google pages. That's it. Stay tuned for more tech later stuff. Thanks for watching.